Bike makers have done light and stiff to death. They've made road bikes squishier and more versatile, they've done gravel, and now they're back to pure speed. Gadget-laden aero bikes with discs are the hottest thing in road cycling. Here is our top five list of the claimiest aero bikes in the world right now. You know what they say, Venge is a dish best served aero. The old Venge Vias helped set the trend for fearsomely complicated aero bikes with everything integrated and proprietary. It was brutally quick and brutally impractical. The new S-Works Venge is a little more real world and it's claimed to be faster and lighter than ever. Specialized won't say how much faster, but the brand does claim to have shaved 240 grams off the frame and added around 40 to 50% more compliance compared to the Vias, although the tarmac is still more comfortable. Where previous models had gloriously inconvenient cockpit assemblies, the new Venge sports specialized Aerofly 2 bar, a standard item that can be swapped out as you please. The top of the range bike weighs just 7.1 kilograms in a size 56 and it's designed for electronic shifting and hydraulic discs only. Being experts in horology, it seems appropriate that the Swiss would make a time machine. The second generation bike launched in 2018, replete with claims to superiority over its predecessor in every metric. BMC worked hard to make the 940 gram frame slippery at varying yaw angles as well as head on. Along with aero profiles on everything, a key feature is the aero module, which sits between the down tube and seat tube and comprises both bottle cages and on bike storage. At the same time, the DI2 control box is integrated into the down tube and the slick integrated cockpit system hides every hose and cable from the wind. You have a choice of ETAP hydraulic and Altegra DI2 group sets too. Claimed to be the fastest UCI legal bike at the time of its launch, the System 6 is Cannondale's take on the integrated everything aero bike. It's a veritable cornucopia of aerofoil cross-sections with all the hallmarks of a modern aero machine and the messy bits hidden on the inside. An important part of the package are the NOT, spelt K-N-O-T, components, which includes the cockpit, seat post and wheels. The 64mm deep NOT wheel set uses rims that are a gargantuan 32mm at their widest point and which have a healthy internal width of 21mm. Cannondale ships the System 6 with tyres that are nominally 23mm wide, but on these rims they swell to something like 26mm. Like many such bikes, the top end System 6 includes a power meter as standard, but in this case you have to pay an additional fee on top of the sale price to activate it. Pretty cheeky, Cannondale. Ridley has never been shy with its aero design, and although the latest Noah Fast has converged with the competition in some respects, it retains some distinctive features. Gone are the split-legged forks, and while there's still a rim brake option, it's the disc machine that impresses with its ultra-clean, fully integrated design. Ridley cheats the wind by moulding channels into the leading edges of its tube sections, something it calls F-surface treatment. These act as aerodynamic trip wires, which create vortices and delay separation of the airflow over the frame, reducing drag. Even the headset spaces are channeled, and they blend into a gorgeous one-piece carbon cockpit with a super low profile that completely hides cables and hoses. Fast? We imagine so. Rider comfort used to be the Achilles heel of aero bikes, but the latest generation of design sets out to address that. None do it more radically than Trek with the latest Madone SLR. The Madone uses an updated version of the brand's bump-smoothing ISO-speed tech, which partially isolates the rider from the road. The seat mast assembly extends under the top tube and pivots about the centre of the seat cluster. The amount of flex can be adjusted with a simple slider and rebound is damped by a small elastomer in the seat tube. The disc brake Madone is slightly heavier than its rim brake counterpart, but surprisingly it's also more aero. 
Whichever version you choose, the Madone comes equipped with a new two-piece aero cockpit which offers the clean integration of other slippery designs but with more adjustability. Added to that, the bike is available in some truly eye-popping colour schemes, including six special designs that form what Trek calls Project One Icon. If there's one takeaway from all this, it's that aero bikes seem to have matured and they've also started to look more and more similar to one another. The concept of an aero road bike has been around for years, but this latest generation takes a more considered approach. More thought is given to comfort and practicality, while speed remains the driving force. So, which aero weapon would you sell a kidney for? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like or subscribe.